Hey there, so one thing that you'll get to know about me is that I like to see complete pictures. I obsess over the idea of understanding the intricacies of something because everything can be worked out like a puzzle. You can understand a company's finances, their motivations, their practices, experience, the internal and external workings. It's all there somewhere. Now within that, I really like looking at employee experiences. Now granted, when you look at these, you have to take one thing into account, and that's the fact that most people that go on the internet to write about a company that they work for, they're writing through a negative framing. They're seeing it probably because they're either mad or they've been fired or they've decided to quit. Now, within that, though, you learn certain things about a company that you would never hear spoken of outside of closed doors. You know, those things that you never want to leak out? Well, they all pop up in places like this. Now, this is Glassdoor. Glassdoor allows you to look at different occupations, different jobs, and what have you. And amongst all of those little gems were three reviews for Image Comics. Now, I assume there were more ratings on top of that because recommend to a friend. We had a 23%. You can't get that out of three people rating something, obviously. But we had a 2.8 uh, rating out of a Five, we had 100% approval of the CEO because this person with a positive rating actually rated them. Now, looking at the uh, the positive review first, they said it was a great company to work for and with. They worked there for more than three years. They liked the people, titles, characters, but they thought it was very, I'm going to say, fast-paced is what they went for, for an artist. And they thought there should be more talent searches. Now, this, this is newer, and I thought this was very interesting to see. No HR department. Former contractor, anonymous contractor. Now, with that, I thought that was interesting because you're talking about something that you think, within your mind at least, you imagine to be a larger company. The practice of not having an HR department, that is something that you see in a smaller company. You normally do not see that in something that hires multiple people or that's responsible for a lot of money. So, I thought that was interesting. Reading, they don't recommend. They worked at Image Comics as a contractor for more than five years, so that's interesting. The pros, they loved working with a variety of professionals and being a part of the amazing books that they published. The cons, there is no HR department. Any complaints about harassment or working conditions were ignored. There you go. I feel like we understand that as consumers, so you can imagine what you would get as an employee. No one to go to if you had problems with an image partner. That's very interesting because an image partner there. Hmm. They circle the wagons and push you out if you dare to bring up a complaint. More than once, I heard a partner refuse to publish someone's work internally because uh, the creator dared to publicly disagree with them on politics or something else that had nothing to do with the quality of the book itself. Look at that statement right there. Now, you know, like I said, people are angry when they post this stuff. Still, do you think Eric Larson would actually publish your work if he disagreed with your politics? Do you think he would go to bat for you from what we've seen here? That's something that you have to ask about the company, and it is well within their rights to do so. They publish what they want, but still, the the masthead of them being this thing out there, they represent all types of ideas that they come from all directions to look at this lens called creativity? No, not so much. Continuing, creators have been uh, encouraged to shun past staff on social media or risk their books getting canceled. The accounting is shady. Very rarely do creators get monthly statements on how their books are selling. They were never sent out while I was there unless the books were scheduled to be destroyed for not selling. That is very interesting, too. That kind of practice there, that is very shady. And I've heard some interesting stuff about about image. I'm not going to throw it out here. I'm going to let someone else say this stuff, but some of that really goes with this. I don't feel like I can defame something with my own words with that without having something to link onto. That's why I don't say that. But I have again heard things that go with this type of idea. Now, advice to management. Get a human resource department at Image Central to cover all the TMP, Top Cow, Skybound, and Shadowline. 
Just because creators are contracted doesn't mean you aren't responsible for how they're being treated and your staff, while small, is too scared to, to bring any complaints up for fear of repercussions. Now that's a very interesting public face of something when you're looking at a complaint online. When you think about that, this person, they work there, they say, for more than five years, so it's very interesting. And obviously, they're being uh, anonymous there because they don't want to throw that out straight up. Now, this is a sales marketing. They were a former employee, anonymous employee. They gave it a three of five, but they gave it a don't recommend, even though they had a positive outlook. So they worked at uh, Image Comics full time for more than three years. The pros were the people. Fun culture and products, great benefits, cons, long hours expected, office politics in this small company can be stressful, not a great place for someone to, uh, with a family to work. That's very interesting too because again they bring up office politics which could uh, it could go with a lot of different things that could talk about the internal dynamic of that but also it could leak out into that greater whole they were talking about shunning people and whatnot in the uh, earlier review here well when they're talking about that you wonder how that links up advice to management management is in need of training on best practices for personnel management and employment law now that right there if they discriminate against individuals there are all kinds of laws out there that keep that from transpiring if you are employed by a company you are protected by many and many a law especially if you're in specific states like that first individual talked about being in California if they're employing you within said states they fall within said regulation guidelines and those guidelines depending again on which state you are in. Some of those are not advantageous when you look at it from a company's point of view. A lot of people, though, they're simply too uh, exhausted within their day-to-day, -day, within that struggle of trying to maintain silence. They, uh, they don't know what their rights are. But still, I think this is an interesting lens. And when I look at it on the external as a consumer, I see some of these things. I see that. I can see that in image there you know i should see an image of a company that's uh that's maintaining at a certain degree i shouldn't see the image that i'm noticing now which is a broken mechanism that does its best to double think and to uh to back up any kind of illogical idea as long as it suits their politics anyway i wanted to throw this out there because i found it interesting thanks